Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden here, back again for your Thursday real life stock review. And today was a glorious day marked in history, the SPY, the S&P 500 creating another new all time high. It feels like just yesterday, I mean it was only last month that we just created the, the new all time high, however, we're back here again, guys, and we are definitely going higher. As you can see, we did gap up quite, quite large. It was a, it was a, it was over a one percent gap, but it was a white candle gapping up, which is a retest gap. So if we just zoom in on the five minute, okay, here is the retest. Okay, so we did come down and fill that gap from yesterday, and. Uh, as soon, if you have a look at the one minute chart, you'll be able to see there's a beautiful, beautiful morning star reversal pattern coming in here uh, with volume. So, I mean, you could have played this on the one minute or the three minute, and there it is once again on the three minute. So, guys, this was the time to start going long if you were in the day trading room. Beautiful, beautiful retest, and from here, just look to buy the dip. Here's the E-minis. Um, not looking super bullish after such a big gap yesterday. Um, most likely, we will retrace a little bit, uh, but if we do come back down to the, the back down to the 10 EMA, it will definitely be a buy the dip opportunity. Here's the fate of the day, AMD. Couple of people in the real life trading real life trading room catching this one. On the five minute, we we'll zoom in. We had this beautiful support right here. Now we did if I just turn on the extended hours, you'll see we were creating we were creating lower highs. Okay, and we, we did have a solid support here. So when we broke down, came up, retested came back down, retested this VWAP. It was pretty much, you could have taken the breakdown or you could have taken, you could have taken the breakdown or the retest of this VWAP and then just set your stop and taken this thing lower. Um, beautiful, beautiful trade. Entry here with a stop above here would have been just fine. And yeah, a lot of people making some glorious gains on AMD today. Here's SLB, uh, SLB Schlumberger Limited. Beautiful, beautiful gap and go today. Clearing, clearing this pivot from just two days ago. And we did come down and retest just briefly. And if you zoom in on the one minute, um, you did have a little bit of a chance here to get in. So as we, as we, as we pushed up at, at open, Right, we did come back down, retest the 10, chop around, chop around, and then there was your nice little double bottom and uh, the breakout and the retest right here. So um, plenty, of, plenty of opportunity to take this thing long this morning. And I know Jeremy did actually take this being in New York. Well done, Jeremy, for taking SLB. Great, great trade. Here is U.S. Steel. All right, let's check this out. U.S. Steel, lot of short-term moving averages traded straight up into the 50. Um, this was a target for a lot of people, as you can see. There was some selling yesterday, and we did come back down and fill this gap. Uh, from here, I do expect us to probably chop around a little bit. Um, we have, we have. Uh, come back down and retested the 10 and gone higher. So from here, if we are going to keep trading higher, I would look for a retest of the 10 and the 20 and then a trade higher. But most likely this thing will just kind of chop around a little bit, maybe even roll back down just before earnings. Um, but keep your eyes on X, guys. We are at a very, very low. If you take a look at the monthly chart, like we are getting pretty low. So... U.S. Steel, long term, uh, long term does look good, but uh, in the short term, just be patient and look for a really good entry on that one. Here's Nvidia, ticker symbol NVDA. 
trading straight up into the 50 moving average and it was a gap and go. A lot of people getting trapped today. Um, we did gap up quite, quite big and we we did have such a bullish run. So if you just take a look here on NVIDIA, uh, over the last three weeks, we have gained up over 17%. So there is going to be a few people in profit. So most likely these people will start to sell off. And from here, I would just look to buy the dip probably at about, uh, I'll just do some quick fibs here. Um, from here to here, I'd look to buy at around exactly $150 here. So $150, look to buy the dip and then take Nvidia higher. Here's Tesla, um, did trade up into the 50 and are retesting the 10. From here, I do expect there to be a couple more tests of the 50 and maybe chop around a little bit. But um, Tesla definitely looking really good for a long. Here's Oracle, uh, Brad, shout outs to Brad for trading this in the, the day trading floor. This was a beautiful setup. It was a gap and go above all the, uh, above all these highs. If you take a look at the three minute, okay, if you take a look at the three minute, we did have uh, the previous, uh, the, the, not the previous, so the, the pre-market high was at 56.49. Uh, and we did break out and we did retest. So here's the breakout, right? And here is the retest. Now, if you take a look at this candle, this candle's low is exactly 56.49. So if you didn't take the breakout, you definitely could have taken the retest on this trade um, with a stop with a stop below VWAP. That would have been an absolutely amazing trade for, for just one R. Um, but well done, Brad, for taking a tr for taking this trade on Oracle. Great trade there, mate. Um, here's the All Lords Aussie markets. Now, obviously, we're pulling back a little bit after such a bullish run, and obviously because the markets did pull back last night. Um, so from here, look, just look to buy the dip. Don't look to short up here, guys. Um, the markets are very, very bullish at the moment, and most likely we will we will continue higher. We are almost at these all-time highs. Very excited about that. Um, so keep your eyes on the news. There's uh, there's, there's going to be some... Uh, that's most likely where all the newbies are going to hop on. Um, so when, when it comes out in the media saying that, you know, we're, we're now confirmed bullish, markets are going higher, just be a little bit skeptical and that's probably when we'll maybe roll over and chop down a little bit and uh, slowly trade sideways and consolidate at these levels. Here's CBA, finally pulling back a little bit um, at these previous previous highs back in 2018 in January. Very, very obvious. We did have these nice, we have had a few gaps here, like this gap here, this white, white candle gapping up. Retest gap still has not filled this gap. So most likely I do expect this thing to trade down, maybe just chop around sideways while we're at this resistance level. So CBA, just look to sell some premium above above $83 if you're in any long-term shares. Um, but also well done for taking the gains on CBA if you did if you did buy from down here. Well done, guys. Well done. Well done. Uh, here's APT, Afterpay. Looking really, really good. Um, most likely, we are going to chop around here for a little bit. Uh, if I just turn on the long-term moving averages, we're just above. I don't expect this thing to just bounce straight out of here. Um, we are going to consolidate here for a little while. Probably, probably have a little bit of something like this. Uh, happen over the next couple of months. Um, but from here, just look to buy as low as you can and we will definitely be going higher on Afterpay. Here's WiseTech Global. WiseTech Global creating a new all-time high just yesterday and finally getting some pullbacks. Um, so right here, guys, don't be buying WiseTech Global. Look to buy the dip. We've been speaking about this, about buying the dip since here. Um, and a lot of you guys have been. Um, this was a nice little breakout and retest of these highs, and we did 
crush higher from there. So um, if I just do the quick wave count here, we do have a one, two, three, four, five. Um, so most likely I do expect a little bit of a one, two, three wave count to happen, a little ABC correction. Um, but why I said global, definitely bullish, uh, but long term, long term, just look to buy as low as possible. Here's Newcrest gapping up again as gold is moving higher. We spoke about this on Tuesday. I said most likely just keep holding if you're in shares or at least look to take some profits off the table. We haven't been here for a long time. And uh, guys, good news for gold. Good news for gold. Speaking of, um, here's gold right now, 1404. This is huge, guys, because there is not that much resistance in the way um, right now on gold until up to 1600. So this, I, I did speak about this just a few months ago, that this is probably going to be the start of the next, this is probably going to be, this, if as soon as we broke above this trend line, this was probably going to be the start of the next bull run. Um, myself, I have... I have made some gains on gold and uh, a couple of other traders I know have as well. But this definitely does look like the breakout and just look to buy the retest, right? So look to buy the dip if you can, just try and get as low as possible. But gold definitely looking bullish long term. Um, even in the short term, we have broken out of a massive, massive consolidation phase. So keep your eyes on gold keep long here's oil oil on the daily finally running into the 50 day ema just having a little bit of a little bit of weakness here um, a lot of people just starting to take some profits just look to buy the dip here guys oil looking very strong um, probably come back down to the 20 here um, and that's pretty much it on oil we have had this nice little double bottom. We have got this neckline. So I would just look to buy as low as possible. So on oil, guys, well done for those who have caught this, this dip. On Tuesday, I did say that, uh, that oil would come back down to the 10 right, right here. And then that was the buying opportunity to go long. So if you did catch that message and did catch some gains, then well done to you guys. Um, well done. Here's the Aussie dollar. Uh, finally starting to make a little bit of moves. I'm not super bullish still, but we did catch this bounce. Um, we have spoke about this. So most likely we're just going to chop around here, probably come back to the 50 and then just chop around here, con consolidate for a little bit and then probably go lower. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Um, but that's all I've got for you today in the markets, guys. Uh, if you... Enjoy this stock review. Give me a thumbs up and I'll be back next week on Tuesday. And if you want me to review any tickers, just leave it in the comment section below. And until next week, have a great weekend and I will see you then. And remember, love life, live life and trade it. I'll see you soon. Bye.